Hello, 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 everybody. Good day, good day, good day. Hope everyone is having an absolutely amazing day. Oh my goodness, it's Monday, y'all. This is the day that we start this week out. Um, we set the tone, the pace for what this week is going to look like. So I want to encourage you to make this week absolutely phenomenal. I want to take a minute to welcome you to Prophetic Monday with Prophetess Trish Morissette. That is me. If you don't mind, please tune in. Please make sure to share this with your friends, with your followers. Let everybody know that we are live for Prophetic Monday. Uh, you know, uh, I am so excited about what God is doing. I want to talk to you prophetically about where we're at right now, um, the season that we're in. Uh, prayerfully, you guys are uh, are uh, focused in this season. If not, I got a word for you uh, of what God is saying and what God is doing. And I pray that it is well received. Amen. So listen, listen, listen. We're in the second quarter of this new year. All right. There is a lot of propheticness about being in the second quarter of the new year. And I'm going to break down a few things with some little prophetic teaching. Listen, if you've not taken any of my uh, free classes, Prophetic 101 is still up and available right now. We're going to get ready to take that down shortly. So you get three free classes, Prophetic 101. You can go to trishamnow.com. Yes, trishamnow.com. Sign up and get those classes while they're still up. We're about to change that out. So we better get in where you're fitting. But anyway, I'm going to go and do some prophetic breakdowns about this season that we're in. And, and, and what God is saying, what God is doing and what you should be doing in the midst of it all. So we've entered into the second quarter of this year. Um, and, and what God was giving me, he was confirming in me that in the second quarter of this year, there is a great shifting that is happening. And what this shifting is, this is a shifting to the next level of who God has called you to be and what God has called you to do. So I'm going to say that again. This next level in the second quarter of this year, there is a shifting to the next level, which is um, also going to produce a great birthing out of you. OK, listen to me. There is a shifting to the next level, which is going to produce a great birthing out of you, meaning that you're about to be pulled on. You're about and many of you are feel, feel may feel that now because we're already in the second quarter of this year. So it's already started. So the great pull, the great tug, it's like God is saying, OK, I need you to do this. And he's giving you witty ideas and creativeness and different things like that. And, and you're developing strategies and systems and uh, uh, all of this stuff is happening now. It's in this now season. God is saying, this is what is happening in this now season. So this great shifting is taking place. These strategies are coming forth and, and you're about to give birth to something so phenomenal. Listen, I want to say this. I, there is nothing. I've never seen a birth that happened without pain unless there was an epidural in sight. Listen, what I'm saying that there, that in this great birthing, in this shifting to the next level of who you are and what you're called to do, God is saying, be ye mindful because things will not feel comfortable in this season. You're in the second quarter. He said there is going to be discomfort. There's going to be challenges that are going to come your way. There is going to be uh, different things that are that are set before you. Now, not only are we in the second quarter, now check this out. Second quarter, the number two is the number of establishment. Uh, number two is also the number of great uh, of multiplication. So what God is doing, he's establishing some things in the second quarter of this year that will bring multiplication to you. Now, also, please note that the number two is also a number of can be a number of division. So that means that as God is establishing things for you, as you're as you're being stretched to the next level, because there is a shifting to the next level in this season, as God is, is, is shifting you to the next level, there's going to be discomfort and birthing pains. But at the same time, there is multiplication and establishment that is taking place in the spirit realm and manifesting in the natural. So he's establishing establishing some things with you. Now, watch this. Uh, Two can be the number of establishment and multiplication, but it can also be the number of division. As you go to this next level, right? As you go to this next level, as you're you're being who you need to be and, and, and doing these new things and you're becoming greater, you're having more wisdom, knowledge, and revelation, uh, there can be a great divide because a lot there are going to be people around you that can't handle your next level, that can't handle the shift, that can't handle 
what God is, is doing in this second quarter. Again, two is the number of, of establishment. It is the number of multiplication, but it is also the number of great division when people cannot handle what your next looks like, okay? You're already shifting into a next level of who you are destined to be in God. And there are already people that can't handle it and they may not say anything about it yet. And some may say, I got to break away from you or, 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 or you may see it in their actions, their behavior, their attitudes. But listen, these things must happen because in this next level, in this next shift of who you are and what God is doing, there has to be establishment. God is establishing you as a leader. He is establishing you uh, in your anointing. He's establishing you in your call. He's establishing you in your purpose. He's establishing you in ministry. He's establishing you in business. There is a great birthing that is coming forth that, that is causing discomfort, that's causing you to uh, 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 do things differently and, and, and work a little harder and to be more focused. But God said in this next level, he needs you focused. He needs you focused focus. He needs you focused because listen, what is going to happen is you're going to see the multiplication. You're going to see things being done. You're going to see, and for some of us, things are going to happen very quickly. Watch this. He's going to do a quick work, a speedy work for some of us. There is going to be a quick work that is going to be done. And so God is saying, don't get caught up in the quick work because there are still things that have to be done. And, and as I was preparing this word, he told me, he said, tell them about uh, uh, Nehemiah, because listen, you got to, I'm going to say this and I pray y'all hear me by the spirit that no matter what happens with the people that's around you, no matter what happens with the relationships that are around you, he said, I need you to know who you are, regardless of who they say you are, what they're doing, what they're not doing. He said, I need you to know who you are. And I need you to know the great work that I have called you to do. And I need you to know that I'm established you like never before in this second quarter of this year. I'm bringing multiplication to you in the second quarter of this year. And the enemy knows it. The, the, some of the people around you can see it and there are going to be some that don't like it. And so just like Nehemiah was on the wall, there were people that were coming at him questioning what he was doing, questioning why he was still building, questioning why he was so focused, questioning why, why Nehemiah, why Nehemiah. God said, know that just like they they did it with Nehemiah, they're going to do it with you. But in regardless of what happened, what they said, what they didn't say, what they did, what they didn't do, who was supporting you or, or, or nothing, God said Nehemiah in the midst of it all knew who he was. He understood what his call was and he even spoke it to the people and he said, listen, when they came at him, they were like, he looked at him, he said, am I a man? that I should stop what I'm doing to come down and mess with you who are trying to distract me, who's trying to unfocus me, who's trying to get me discombobulated. See, God, Nehemiah knew that within him, God was doing a new thing. Within him, God was establishing who he was, who he was. And, and within him, there was multiplication, there was increase, and there was a work, and, and the work was making him uncomfortable. And I, I say this, Anytime you're toiling to build something, it makes you uncomfortable because there's a pressing. There's a lot of time that has to be put in. There are people around you that has to be on one accord. And sometimes it don't work. It don't come across that easy. And so Nehemiah was toiling and he was working. And there was discomfort. And But in the midst of it all, Nehemiah knew who he was. He understood who he was called to be. He understood where he was going. He understood what he was building. He understood understood that his destiny lied in what he chose to do in that moment. So, and, and he never forgot that. And he said, am I a man that should stop what I'm doing? I came to ask you a question. Are you the woman? Are you the man that when frustration comes, that you should stop what you're doing and put off what should have been done yesterday? because people are not supporting you in your today. Are you a woman that should stop what you were doing because you're getting a little uncomfortable? 
Are you a woman or a man that should stop what you're doing because you don't necessarily have everything and it's making you a little uncomfortable? God said, Nehemiah, build because in your building, the shifting takes place. The increase comes, the favor comes. But he said, in your building comes the distractions. In your building comes the, comes, comes the challenge for you to be focused. In your building, it comes to the, the, the revelation that you may not have everything at this very hour, but God didn't check your bank account. He's checking your faith account. In the midst of it all, can he say, you know what? Your faith account is on fleek and I can trust you because you're not worried about bank account. You're not worried about the haves. You're not worried about the have nots. You're not worried about who who's, shake, who's clapping you up and saying, oh yes, good job, girl. Good job, dude. You're doing well. You're not worried about that, but you are worried and concerned about what God is saying establishing in your life and how he's doing it and what he's doing it. And you don't mind the, the discomfort because in this second quarter, come on somebody, in this second quarter, things are getting established. I'm telling you, in this second quarter, your eyes are open for real to see where your distractions are. In this second quarter, there is an understanding like never before of who you are in this second quarter. You won't be fooled as to who you was. You won't, you won't be comparing yourself to what happened yesterday and last year. No, no, no. Who are you today? Who are you today? You're not going to be, you're not going to fall for the okie doke because you understand that right now in this moment, you know who you are. You are not a woman that is going to come down because of somebody not loving you, supporting you, not being there. You're not a woman who is going to come down because you don't have all the resources. You are not a woman that are go that's going to come down because all you know is it's hard and it's frustrating. You are not that woman. You are not that man. God said no. And in the Bible, in Nehemiah, I believe it's chapter six, the Bible says that the, the, the people came to him four times and saying, listen, come down off that wall. I want to meet with you. Listen, come down off that wall. I need to meet with you. Listen, come down off that wall because I got something greater over here. And then Nehemiah said, you know what? He said, I, I could not trust them in this season. I could not trust them in this moment because he understood that if he came down off the wall, that there was an ambush waiting for him. There was an ambush waiting for him to stop what he was building, to get him distracted. He said, they were waiting on me to ambush me, to kill me, to kill my purpose, to kill my destiny. They were waiting on me. You know what? That, that person that's lusting after you and getting you all discombobulated with them phone calls and them DMs and them text messages, they're waiting on you. And they're saying, come on over here, girl. I got what you want. I got what you need. There are people that are close to you that are looking at you and say, no, 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 you ain't got to be doing that today. Girl, let's just go out and let's just do this. They're waiting on you because there is an ambush set up for you so that you can get off focus. Nehemiah said, am I a man that should come down, that should stop what I am doing? So that I can play with Rudy Poop people who don't care nothing about nothing. They say they love me. They say they with me. They say they down for me. They say they support me. Am I a man or a woman that should come down and entertain foolishness when I got destiny? On, it, 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 destiny is at hand. Purpose is at hand. Next level is at hand. God said, you got to know who you are right now today. Forget about the mistake you made yesterday. Forget about the mistake you made last year. I told y'all the last time you look back for your testimony, but you look forward for your breakthrough. You look forward for your next level. You forget about that. That's who are you right now? Do you know who you are right now and who God wants you to be right now in this moment? Do you know? Nehemiah knew. He knew that God was establishing something in him. He knew that God was doing something so profound that the naysayers, the spectators were in awe. And Nehemiah knew, he, he told him, I, I, I ain't a man that should stop what God told me to do. I don't care if you love me, you like me, you hate me, you want, or if you like, want me, don't want me. I don't care. All I know is if God said it, then that's it. I'm telling you right now, if God said it, that's it. Don't you let doubt, fear, disbelief hinder you. I'm telling you, we're in the second quarter of this year. If you're just coming in, 
second quarter of this year, God is saying there is transition from one level to another level. He said, there is transition. Then he said, I'm building you up. I'm, I'm taking you to another level and, and taking you to another level. There is a great birthing that is going to come forth. And that great birthing is going to bring discomfort. And you're going to have to look yourself in the face and look at other people in the face. And you're going to have to declare who you are. You're going to have to declare who you are. You're going to have to declare who you are. Declare who you are. You got to look at yourself every day in the mirror to build yourself up. Declare who you are. David said, I believe it's the David. He said, sometimes you got to encourage yourself because in this season, it's another level. But if you don't know who you are, you're going to miss the shift from one level to the next level. You're going to miss the shift of, uh, 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 of, of, of this increase that God is doing all oh, because you're, you're uncomfortable and you don't know who you are. People are going to challenge you to come down off the wall. Circumstances are going to challenge you to come down off the wall. Situations are going to challenge you to come down off the wall. But God is saying, know who you are. Know who you are and know what I told you to do. Because that's where the shifting is really going to happen. Do not abort that baby. I'm going to say that again. Do not abort what God put on the inside of you. Because you're going to birth greatness in the second quarter of the year. Listen, I'm going to close with this. The second quarter of the year includes months four, five, six, and seven. All right. No, no, four, five, and six, right? So we got four, five, six. Four is the number of creation, right? Four is the number of creation. Your create, God is doing a new thing in you. Listen, y'all hear me close. The second quarter is the months. Four, five, and six. Four is the number of creation. God is doing a new thing. Five is the number of grace. God is gracing you to handle your next level. And six is the number of man where you're coming to yourself and you're seeing things like you've never seen before. In this second quarter, God is establishing these things with you. He's establishing a new thing. He's giving you more grace and he's allowing you to come to yourself to see and to know who you are and what he is doing. So I pray you receive that because this is a prophetic release for people to understand what this second quarter in this year is about to manifest, okay? So encourage yourself, know who you are and do what God is saying do. Amen, amen, amen. All right, God bless you and don't forget to share this broadcast. Somebody needs to hear it. Love you guys.